guys, welcome back to the deck box. This week it's going to be something kind of crazy. So last video, if we back it up, I was talking about how this is a casual channel and we're going to be doing casual stuff and it, it, it's going to be a lot of fun, but it's also a little bit crazy and I like to put up all sorts of different stuff. So this week, with it being um, Dark Ascension release weekend, I decided it'd be kind of fun to play the intro decks against each other. Um, if you don't know, intro decks are very weak compared to other decks um, because they can't really fit like a bunch of super good rare cards into a you know a twenty dollar deck without people just buying intro decks because they have rare cards in them. So so they're not great decks um, at all. They're very inconsistent. They're very all over the place. They're kind of good if you're a new player. Um, because it lets you kind of like have a base to go from and then you can build upon it um, But as, as an experienced player or a somewhat experienced player, they're not great uh, But we did decide that it'd be fun to play them against each other So myself and a friend of mine played um, I played the relentless dead uh, Which is a blue black zombie intro deck for dark ascension and my friend played the red white swift justice, which uh, is a some sort of strange deck with a uh, Requiem angel as their you know their top card in it um, so, it was kind of fun to play. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. And off we go, rolling for choice. So, Wes decides to go first. And we both decide to keep our hands. Wes plays a mountain and passes it on to my turn. I play an island and pass it back to Wes. Wes plays a plains and passes it back to me. I play a swamp. And Wes plays a Stromkirk Noble. The fact that the intro deck comes with a Stromkirk Noble is pretty nice. Because those are good, good cards. On my turn, I tap three, one island, and uh, two swamps to play a Diargoth Captain. Was his turn, he taps three and plays Niblis of the Mist, which taps down my creature, and then he's able to attack through with Stromkirk Noble. Bring me the 19 and give himself a counter on the Noble. I tap three for, forbid for Forbidden Alchemy looking for a card that might be able to help me out. And I might be looking to throw some cards away as well. Seeing as this is a, uh, a zombie deck, it has a lot of scobs as well, which you need to exile creatures out of your graveyard for to play. Um, so Forbidden Alchemy really helps you with that. It lets you pick up a card, but it also lets you throw out some stuff that you might need thrown away. So I threw away a Diagraph Ghoul, a Island, and another Forbidden Alchemy. West taps three and plays the Erdwell Ripper, who is a haste creature, who also gets counters every time it hits the opponent. And he swings through with all three. I take all the damage in the face, trying to hold on to my Diagraph Captain and get another zombie out to hopefully turn the tide. Down goes my fifth land, this time a third swamp. Tapping all five, I play a zombie Goliath. He taps four, plays Rack of Madness, which makes my Diagraph Captain attack itself, essentially. It deals its power to its toughness. So it kills him. And he decides to attack with everything again. So I block the Stromkirk Noble with the Zombie Goliath to trade, kill them both, and then take the rest of the damage straight to the face. I play a sixth land, another swamp, so I'm up to four swamps, two islands. I tap three for Corpse Lunge. I exile the Goliath and destroy the Erdwell Ripper. I tap two more for a Walking Corpse, which is a 2 2 zombie, and it's Wes's turn. He attacks with Niblis and taps three to put Rally of the Peasants on it to give it to get it to deal four damage. I attack for two. He plays Burning Oil to deal three damage to it. I play Forbidden Alchemy, looking for a Flyer, which this deck is a little low on, but I know that there's a Stitch Drake in here somewhere. So I was looking for that mostly. Though so it goes back over the West's turn. A five and plays a Sarah Angel. Which is more than enough for me. And I pick it up and I for that game. Moving on to game two. So I'll be starting this game. I decide to go first. I play an Evolving Wilds and I hand it over to Wes's turn. On his end step I tap and sack the Evolving Wilds to look for a basic land. I get a swamp. So my turn starts, I'll untap that swamp, play another island, tap two, and play the zombie infestation, which allows you to discard two cards to make a 2-2 zombie. On Wes's end step, I decide, to, I decide to discard two cards to make a 2-2 zombie. I'm discarding the bone flinger and the zombie goliath. I attack for two points of damage, brings him down to 18, 
and it goes back to his turn again. He plays Niblis of the Mist, and he sends it back over to my turn. I attack for two, brings him down to 16 points because he decides not to block. He tries four to play an Assault Griffin, nice white flyer, and I attack for two again. He takes it, goes down to 14, and I send it back over to him. If you haven't realized already, I've been uh, getting in some mana issues. I've been stuck at two now. Um, but this is sort of how it goes with intro decks. You're not able to actually have the proper mana you need and all that. So I play a negate on his rack with madness to save my zombie, and he attacks me again. On his end step, I discard two cards and make another 2-2. Seeing as, as I can't get any land to actually play my cards, I'll just discard them. <laughs> I think is what I was thinking at that point. I tap two and I play a walking corpse and I attack for four. He blocks one with his elite inquisitor, or sorry, his elite vanguard and takes two damage, going to 12. He plays a planes, bringing him up to six mana now and swings at me in the air again. Bring me down to eight points. I attack for four, he plays burning oil and then flashes it back straight away and blows up both of my creatures. Back to Wes's turn, he plays six to do Rally the Peasants and then flash it back. Game. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope to see you again real soon. Actually tomorrow night, I'll put up another video. It will be of a fat pack opening um, because uh, some people like box openings. I figured I'd try it and see how it went. So I'll see you then. Until then, keep rolling for choice people. See you around.